close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch the breath as it comes in, watch the breath as it goes out, all the way in, all the way out. Try to keep your mind bright and clear here in the present moment. Don't let it get clouded with thoughts about the past, thoughts about the future, where you're going to go after you leave here, where you've been coming from. Just put those things aside. Try to be as clear and alert here in the present moment as you can. This is the quality of the mind that really determines the quality of life. We talk about people having quality of life. Well, where is quality of life? It's not just in having nice things. It's, it's in the goodness of the mind. Because the nice things we get, you know, they're basically things that other people don't have. We gain something, other people lose it. And you look for meaning in life just in material things, there's not much meaning at all. And you look around the world and you see that people are fighting over material things, fighting over status, fighting over relationships. All these things are just limited amounts, and yet there's an infinite amount of desire, an infinite amount of craving. As the Buddha once said, it could rain gold coins and we still wouldn't have enough for our desires. This is why we have to turn around and look at the mind. How can we create quality of life in the mind? Because it's the goodness of the mind that makes life worth living. The Buddha once said he looked at human life and it was like fish in a drying up puddle. The water was going down, going down, and the fish were squabbling around trying to get that last little bit of water before they were all going to die anyhow. It's not a very pretty picture, but he said, well, there's a way out of this, and that's through developing the qualities of your mind. He said, there's an arrow in the heart. The arrow is our craving and our clinging. If you can take that out, then there's going to be happiness. Then there's no more suffering. So that's what we do. We try to develop the mind with generosity so we can pull out the arrow of stinginess, and we develop virtue so we can pull out the arrow of, of harmfulness, and we develop the mind so we can pull out the arrow of ignorance and delusion. So the mind can be free of arrows, it can be a happy mind. We talk about coming to the monastery for merit. Well, merit means the things that make us happy, but merit's not enough. It has to be con combined with skillfulness. In other words, you can't just depend on good intentions. You also want to make sure your, your actions really are good. They really do give good results. So they come from a good place and they lead to a good place, too. That's the difference between simple goodness and skillfulness. Goodness it comes out of a good mind, good intentions. But it may still have some delusion. So you want to develop the mind here. As you're practicing meditation, you develop mindfulness, you develop alertness, concentration and discernment. All these things help to overcome the delusion that keeps our good actions from becoming skillful actions. And then when we're skillful like this, then we live in a world where it's not fish fighting over a little bit of water. We're finding new, way, new ways to create more water, water for the mind. Keeps the mind cool, keeps the mind refreshed. Because it's through our goodness that we can live with one another. If it weren't for our goodness, we wouldn't want to see human beings at all. We'd want to run away. But it's because of our goodness that we can live with one another, and we can, human society is a good place to be, to the extent that it is. And we can make it better by putting more goodness into the equation. So we're going to get the strength to do that. We've got the strength through developing the mind, like we're doing right now, developing the mindfulness, alertness, sense of well-being and mind that comes. When you stay with the breath, keep the breath as your foundation. So remember, this is where the real value of life is. This is real, where quality of life really gets good. It depends on the quality of the mind. That doesn't mean you have to be smart. All it does means it means it has to be skillful. And anybody who can notice what they're doing and decide that if it's a mistake, you're going to re resolve not to repeat that mistake. You're going to try to do things as well as you can. That's where we become wise. And that's how the quality of life can be maintained. You can spread that quality around to the people around you. So it's good to live with you, and you find it good to live with them, because everybody is developing more and more goodness. <laughs>